Well, welcome to Treehouse, and thank you so much for joining us on this virtual tour. Um, we will speak about our program, give you a brief overview on Waldorf education, and then show you around our program and our facility. Treehouse has now um, just celebrated our 10th anniversary, and through the last decade, it has been a complete joy of mine to watch our program grow, evolve, strengthen. One of the deepest joys that I get as a director is to focus on my staff. Um, I do get the joys of being in the classroom and to educate our littles as well, but educating our staff is one of the cornerstones of our program. When a staff member can show up in the classroom as their, their truest self and their deepest sense of who they are, it strengthens the bond that they're able to have with their students. It improves the amount of peace and grace that we have throughout the classroom and how we move throughout the rhythm of the day because you have educators that are self-aware and that are kind and calm and gentle with themselves. And if you start there as a human, then you're able to pass that on to others. You'll see here that I have a couple elements of just kind of basic Waldorf materials. So you will see silks, in a Waldorf classroom, and you will see hand crocheted and knitted ribbons, you'll see crowns, you'll see capes, and that is what we use for dramatic play. You'll never see a very specific costume, such as a nurse's costume or a firefighter's costume. Um, when you do that, those items project onto the children. And Rudolf Steiner, who founded Waldorf Education, truly believed that the materials were meant to open up a child's imagination and creativity. So the child could then project onto the material. And so you have these open-ended materials in the classroom. So children are constantly creating, they're problem solving, they're engineering, they're using their greatest minds during free play because they're asked to. They don't have materials projecting onto them, telling them what to do. Instead, they get to walk into the classroom and wonder. I'm going to go over with you what our program will be like for your children when they attend. One of the most important parts of Waldorf education for young children is keeping a protective veil over them when they are in the school. What that means is moving through our day in a peaceful and intentional way. For our daily rhythm, we follow an in-breath and an out-breath type of structure. For in-breaths, this is time that we are intentionally with the children for activities, circle, meal times, and care times, such as diaper changing, putting on coats, and such. This is all time where we're interacting with the children and they are being fed adult care and love. Our outbreaths are the time where once they are fed with adult love and care, they are free to be in their own play. So this happens during outside time and indoor playtime. The activities that we do at Treehouse are intentional and holistic. So we generally don't do activities with a product at the end, but focus on the work that they're putting into it. These include watercolor painting, clay, gardening, chopping vegetables, baking bread, and even caring for our home.
the treehouse, children come to love their rest time. For our nappers, we have a nap room where we set up spacious, cozy beds for each child to nap in. For non-nappers, we have a rest time where we have a teacher in a room with children creating peaceful and calm feeling while children sit on their mats, reading books or resting for up to a half an hour to an hour. We strive to spend much of our day outside. We are aligned with the Scandinavian mentality that there is no bad weather, only bad gear. For most of the year, we begin outside. We will have a brief morning circle and then playtime. Your child will spend between an hour and a half to four hours outside each day, depending on their schedule. As teacher Sydney mentioned, our students are outside up to four hours every day. With this in mind, we have spent a great deal of time, energy, love, and care in creating an outdoor classroom. Every Friday we do permaculture activities with the children. This is when they get to learn um, how to do animal tracking. This is when they get to learn um, how to build different riverways and label river systems within our Portland um, metro area. It's a huge part of our curriculum and it's a huge passion of ours. And if you don't know much about permaculture, the three ethics of permaculture are earth care, people care, and fair share. And the fair share is if you think about doing earth care well and people care well, you will live with an abundance. As program director, I feel deeply called to creating community within Treehouse Preschool. We do this by celebrating the seasons and festivals. With these festivals, we include parents and the children in month-long preparations to get ready to honor Mother Earth. Throughout the school year, we have many beautiful festivals that highlight the ebb and flow of Mother Nature's rhythm. Thank you so much for joining us on this virtual tour where you've gotten to see snapshots into our daily life at the Treehouse. This program gives us deep fulfillment in the work that we get to do, and we hope to meet you soon. If you have further questions, Beth will give you my email, and I will be happy to respond to you. See you soon. Bye.